Dear students, today we are going to discuss about nervous system. The basic unit of nervous system is neuron. Neuron is a single cell with the cell body and centrally it is located centrally located a nucleus and a long transmitting fiber called axon and dendrites. The dendrites are the fibers where the information is given into the neuron through this dendrites. So adjacent to the cell body it is called axon hillock. Here only the axon potentials are generated. The main branches in the axon it is called collaterals. So most of the axons are coated with a coating called myelin. So it is called myelin sheeted. So the axon is ended with nerve ending fiber. This is what is nerve ending fiber. So here two neurons are shown in this diagram. The interconnection of the two neurons it is called a synapse. The interconnection of two neurons is called synapse. So the both axon long transmitting fiber dendrites where the inputs are given into the neuron these two are called nerve fiber. The bundle of individual nerve, nerve fiber it is called nerves. So what is meant by nerve fiber? So the dendrites and the axon put together it is called nerve fiber. So bundle of individual nerve fiber is called nerves. So once again I explain this. So the basic unit of nerve system is neuron. Neuron consists of a single cell with the cell body. Center it consists of nucleus and dendrites where the input is given into the neuron. Long transmitting fiber it is called axon. It is ended with nerve ending fibers. So in this diagram two neurons are shown. The interconnection of neuron is called synapse. Most of the neurons are coated with a flatty suspense. It is called myelin. It is called myelin sheeted. The main branches in the axon it is called collaterals. So the axon and dendrites are called nerve fiber. Bundle of individual nerve fiber is called nerve. Then how the neuronal communication is takes place? The neuronal communication it is in spike. So if you go through this diagram, it is spike in nature. So this is called neuronal spike. The action potential convection in neuron is a neuronal spike. It is also called saltatory conduction. The neuronal conduction is spike in nature. It is also called saltatory conduction. So now we are going to see how the action potential transfer from one neuron to another neuron. Older theory states that the action potential generated in one neuron or when the cell is excited, neuron is excited, the action potential transmitted through our axon, when it reaches the nerve end, the electrical potential that excites the nearby cell or nearby neuron. But later it is, later theory states that it is not electrical in nature, there is a chemical that is producing. For example, when this neuron is excited or it is a so action potential in this neuron that will transmit through this axon and re reach the nerve ending. When it reach the nerve ending, there is a chemical called acetylcholine. The chemical name is acetylcholine. That chemical is generated. That chemical transmit through this synapse. That means in the connection of neuron, that is called synapse. So the acetylcholine transmitted through this synapse and excite the nearby cell. Once the nearby cell is excited, or nearby neuron is excited, then another substance is called acetylcholine esterase. There is a, there's a chemical called acetylcholine esterase that breaks the acetylcholine. So this is what the neural communication takes place between one neuron to another neuron. It is chemically, it is transmitting the information or action potential from one neuron to another neuron. Once the action potential reaches the nerve ending, there is a chemical called acetylcholine that flows through the synapse, that means interconnection of two neurons, that is called synapse, flows through this synapse and excites the nearby neuron. 
Once the nearby neuron is excited, immediately a suspense called acetylcholine esterase. So that chemical that breaks down the acetylcholine. The nerve system it is broadly classified into two types. One is called central nerve system, and the other one is called peripheral nerve system. The central nerve system means the brain and the spinal cord. That put together, it is called central nerve system. The peripheral nerve system means nerve fibers outside the central nerve system. That is nerve fibers other than brain and spinal cord. That is called peripheral nerve system. There are two major classification of nerve system. One is central nerve system, the brain and the spinal cord. Both called as central nerve system. Nerve fibers outside the central nerve system. It is called peripheral nerve system. The major divisions of peripheral nerve system are one is afferent nerve. Afferent nerve means the sensory information from various part of our body is taken into brain through this afferent nerve. So afferent nerve that carries in sensory information from various part of our body to the brain. That is called afferent nerves. Another one is called efferent nerves. So efferent nerves are sensory nerves that carries information from brain to various part of our body. So efferent nerves is a sensory nerves that carries in sensory information from brain to various part of our body. So another major division of peripheral nerve system is autonomic nerve system. So another major division of peripheral nerve system is autonomic nerve system. Autonomic nerve system so that involves emotional response and control of throat muscles. The autonomic nerve system so that involves in the emotional response as well as control of smooth muscles. So this autonomic nerve system that is divided into again two types. It is called sympathetic nerve system and parasympathetic nerve system. So what do you mean by sympathetic nerve system? So when you are running, what will happen? The heartbeat increases. So that is done by the sympathetic nerve system. So increasing a heartbeat. So when you are running or when you are seeing accident, immediately your heartbeat increases. So that will be done by this parasympathetic, sorry, sympathetic nerve system and parasympathetic nerve system. So when we are running, our heartbeat increases. When you are come to rest, heartbeat comes to the rest state. So that is done by parasympathetic nerve system. Sympathetic nerve system that increase the heart rate, but parasympathetic nerve system that normalize the heart rate. So these are the major divisions of autonomic nervous system.